Hey, it's Tina Forsyth here. Let's talk referrals. Is it possible to build an entire business off of referrals? The truth is it depends on what type of business you have. So, and there's a couple of key factors that come into play as well. If you are a service-based professional, so if your business is providing a service, a get it done service of some kind to other people. Uh, maybe it's just you, maybe you have a team, maybe you do the strategy plus the implementation. If your business includes the get it done piece, I'm telling you, you could get to the point where your entire business is built off of referrals. And that is part of why I love that business model so much, the, the doing service, uh, the service-based business model, because that's not true for every type of business out there. You know, I run a coaching and training business. I have to do a whole lot of marketing in a whole lot of different ways to bring people into my programs and make connections. And that's great. You know, I'm fine with it because it's the, the model I've chosen. But I will tell you, there are days when <laughs> I wish that the marketing could be so much easier. When you are a service-based professional, you can get to the point where your entire business is based off of referrals. But there's a few key things to consider here. So number one, people will are they will they will refer you when they trust you when they know what you do and they trust that you will deliver on what you do so when you are just getting started in your business or if you're doing something different if you used to be doing this and you're going to be starting to do something different the key thing you need to focus on first is get clients get good you know get known for that thing that you're doing now. When you do great work, word gets around. When you do great work, word gets around. So the very first and the most important thing you wanna be focusing on to, to start up that referral engine is just do great work. Deliver on what you promise. Go above and beyond. And you know what, it's given that there's not, you know, there's people out there who do great work, there's also people out there who don't do great work. So in some ways, this is easier than you might think, <laughs> right? Like in the same way that people who don't do great work, you know, word can get around based on that. The other side of the coin is, you know, with you, your team and whatever it is you do and how you serve clients, when you're doing a good job, people will start to talk about it and they'll share your name and they'll be happy to share your name. But the second piece of this is make sure that you are asking for referrals for the type of work that you actually want. There, there's an element of being able to educate and ask your referral sources to send people your way. So what does educate mean? We had, a, there was a, a post on a comment, or there was a comment on a post I did recently on Facebook where somebody had shared that they, they get lots of referrals from past clients and you know people who they've worked with, people who know them, they get a lot of referrals and you know there's one in particular who sends a lot of people their way and she really appreciates it, but she's sending people her way for the things that she used to do. You know, she used to do this, she's now up leveled and shifted her business model to do something a little different. She specialized in a certain area. But her client her past client is still sending people to her for the things that she used to do. You need to let your referral sources know what it is you're doing now and who they can send your way. You know, and there's nothing wrong with going back to someone and saying, hey, you know what? I love that you wanna send people my way. I love that you have that trust in me, that faith in me, and you know, I'm no longer offering X, or we're no longer offering X. What we're doing now is this instead. So I just wanted to let you know. If you continue to send people who are needing this new thing by all means, know that I'll take care of them. Um, but if you're looking for people who can help with this other thing, that's not something we do anymore, right? It, you just wanna educate people. And likewise to ask people, ask people for referrals. So don't be shy to say to your, your current clients, to say to past clients, to put out with colleagues and just your network at large in whatever fashion, to just say to people like, hey, you know, I have some space, I have some openings to help this type of person with this type of thing, whatever it is that you do. If you know of anybody who might need help in this area, I would be happy to connect with them and see what we might be able to do. Don't be shy in asking for referrals. Don't be shy in putting it out there. And honestly, referrals can be very simple. So one of the common questions that comes up as well is, do I pay a referral fee? 
or how much of a referral fee should I pay? I have what may be a different perspective on this than what other people have. Um, unless if you have really structured and purposeful partnerships in place with people, like where you're working with somebody and as a part of their program, they're sending people to you on a consistent basis, etc. Outside of things that are really structured like that, I'm actually not a fan of referral fees on service-based businesses. And here's the thing, compared to, you know, in the coaching, the training, the, the info product, the online marketing world, referrals, affiliate, JV type fees are very, very common. But here's the thing, if I'm selling a training program and I'm paying you an affiliate fee on that training program, um, that's a leverage based business model. You know, I'm gonna deliver the program once or it's already created and I don't have to deliver it at all. It makes sense for me to pay a referral fee on that, right? But when you are in the service business and you are doing work or your team is doing work for people, you don't necessarily need and it may not make sense to be paying referral fees to people. It really may not. I know of people who've gotten themselves in some trouble here where they've set agreements that they're paying, you know, 20, 25, 30 or more percent of whatever they're making out to whatever their referral source is. And it's pretty darn hard to be profitable and successful as a service-based business owner, especially if you're paying team and all other kinds of things, if you're paying out like 30% of the money that comes in the door, right? I'm a believer from a service-based perspective that you might, you know, you absolutely might have maybe, if anything, like a, a referral fee, a one-time fee of sorts, like, hey, you connected me with this person, I pay a fee of X number of dollars on that. Um, you could certainly send like a thank you gift or a gift card or something as well for referrals. But you know, honestly, there's going to be a lot of people who wanna refer you just because they know you and they trust that you do good work. It can honestly be as simple as that. So if you want to explore the fee piece, if that's something that's important to you and makes sense, sure. But don't feel like you have to do it. Don't feel like you have to do it. I, it is rare that I would refer someone. Actually, I would never refer someone just to get the money for it, right? Regardless of what it is they do. And I am more than happy to refer people when so, if somebody's coming to me and they're like, you know, I need help getting a book done. Okay, yes, you need to talk to Lynn. You know, Lynn is a person who's helped me with all my books. Like if there's, it's just, I'm more than happy to do that. I love being able to do that. And I think it's human nature as well. You know, we love to be able to refer people. We love to be able to help people kind of get connected with the support that they need. So building the referral engine, you know, get really clear on what you're doing, who you serve, do great work, ask people for referrals and at a certain stage, you're going to find that your business can very much, it could be the only thing you do for marketing, right? It could literally be what fills your business and keeps it full on a regular basis. Would love to hear any questions or any experiences you have with referrals as well. Go ahead and post those with the video here and here's to making those connections and continuing to grow and expand in the easiest way possible. Oh my gosh. I love it when things can be simple like this. All right, it's Tina Forsyth. Until next time, bye now.